Okay, let's see. Nothing up my sleeve. And... Presto! Oh wow, it worked! Wow, I can't believe all of that came out of the witch's hat. This thing is really long. This should work nicely as an escape rope. Aha! If I swing it around and get enough momentum, I should be able to throw it all the way through. Alright, here goes. Machines. And is that a... dragon? Poor little thing. What's the witch doing to him? This thing I have. It's really quite strong. I should be careful not to hurt anyone with it. Um... I'm not sure that will be much help. Oh my! So many wires and cables and bits and bobs for a witch. She sure has a lot of machinery around this place. I don't really know what it is or what it does. I think that's a pretty good reason not to touch it. That crack looks pretty big. Must be a bit of a weak spot in the roof there. I could break through to the roof this way, but I should really climb up and see if I even need to first. This looks a lot like Grandpa's generator on the farm. He used his to power the house. So I guess this might do the same? Hmm... Oh no! The poor little dragon. The witch must have done this to him so he would power that machine. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of there. The little dragon's running way too fast to do anything with the cage. little dragon. The witch must have done this to him so he would power that machine. The poor little guy. I should help him out of there. You want to come with me? I'm escaping. I'm not sure he knows what to do with himself now. Alright, come on then. Don't worry. You're safe with me now. He's such a cute little guy. Aren't you just the cutest little dragon? Don't worry, you're safe with me now. Oh, there's something written on the side here. Non-toxic, made from paraffin wax and pigment. Hmm, well, it does say it's non-toxic. All right, little fella, you hungry? Some, uh, yummy paraffin? Oh, he really gobbled that up. I think he's ready to start blowing out fire somewhere. So cute. This thing I have, it's I should be careful. It's already open. This couldn't have worked out any better. The paperweight's buried into the ground down the bottom. Oh, look. There's the witch, straight down below on this side. She's so close. I'm lucky she didn't see the handkerchief, Jane. This is it. The way out. Once this protection spell is ready, we can finally get out of here. Look, a raven! Hey, 
Mr. Raven. Um, would you mind letting me have one of your feathers? I'll take that as a no then, huh? What is that thing? Jeez, the witch has some weird machines. At least it's given the bird a place to build his nest. That looks a little out of place. I wonder if the roof is cracked or damaged there. I can't reach it from here. I can't reach it from here. She's so close. I'm lucky she didn't see the handkerchief, Jane. <laughs> She's still trying to get the door open. Okay. I'll just rest it up here. Neat! So, an amulet charged by the moon. Let's see if this works. Oh, pretty! It's all blue and glowing now. I guess that means it's charged. I'll just leave it as it is. Oh, how pretty. Feels good to be outside under the stars again. If I'm going to break through there, I think I know an easier way. If I'm going to break through there, I think I know an easier way. Hmm... If I'm not mistaken, that spot should be right around the bird's nest. Mm, perfect! That bird's feather is as good as mine. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Jeez. Touchy little fellow. fellow. a plug, really. Curse you, Anna! The pipe's all closed off. There's nowhere to put it. There's a section of pipe here that looks pretty loose. I could probably take this off to try and get that hair out. There! I don't see any point holding on to this pipe, though. It looks like this is the pipe running down. There's a gap where I took off a piece of the pipe now. should stop any water from coming through now. No, the sink drain is too small to fit my hand in. Yep. 
Well, it worked. All the hair is floated to the top. <sighs> so, so gross. Just what I needed for the spell. Time to go at it to the cauldron. Curse you, Anna! I'm missing some things for the spell. I still need a raven's feather, a blessing from the dead. Then I'll finally be able to get far away from this wicked witch. Open this door right now. the spell scraps end up. Who knows what we could find down there? Mm. Ugh! This place stinks! It looks like the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like leftovers of spells, witchcraft, and... Um, people. It fell down there when I blew it up with my power. Wow, that still sounds really, really bizarre. It looks like the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like leftovers of spells, witchcraft, and... Um, people. You know, that looks a lot like the stuff the witch tried to feed me. Skeleton seems to have a pretty tight grip on that thing. Must have been quite important to them, whoever they were. Nope, too far away. That skeleton seems to have a pretty tight grip on that thing. Must have been quite important to them, whoever they were. That skeleton seems to have a pretty. Must have been. Qu it's too far away. I can't reach. Yes, good idea. Um, only that skeleton has it gripped tight. I'm not sure if my telekinesis will work on this. Mm. I can't reach it from here. is determined to hold on to his handkerchief. I have to think carefully about how I'm going to get it to draw. to hold on to his handkerchief. I have to think carefully about how I'm going to get it to draw. Yes! Now 
I just have to get it out of the ooze from way up here. <laughs> Perfect shot. All right, easy does it. A bit goopy, but I still got it. Dirty old handkerchief with the initial J stitched in the corner. From what I read in that book, I could try summoning the ghost of whoever owned this. I just need to... Uh... Sleep on it. Bedtime, it's escaping time. So, if this book is correct, then this should help bring the ghost of whoever that is in the pit. Well, I've tried sillier things so far that have worked out. Here goes nothing, I guess. All right. Got to sleep, got to sleep. Come on, Anna. No more being awake now. I'm not even sleepy, though. Hmm. What would Grandpa say to help me sleep? He'd say, Come now, Anna. Lay down your head. The time for sleep is here. Come now, Anna. Shut your eyes. The dark, you need not fear. I will. But, Grandpa... You said you'd read to me tonight, remember? Oh, yes. You're quite right. Quite right. Why don't you bring something over here? Lots of tales. Goosey tales. Tales from the Upper Palatinate. Children's and household tales. Grandpa bought all of these for me from the village, but... I know them all by heart. No, not right now. Grandpa's waiting for me to find a book. It. Do you think you could get it down for me? Oh, you don't mean... Well, I don't know about that one. I know. Why don't we just read one of the fairy tales you love so much? We've read them over and over, though. We haven't read this one before. Oh, Hannah, I'm really not so sure. This one is about someone who... Well... Not all stories should be heard by young ones. But, Grandpa, I'm not such a little kid anymore, you know. I can't read kid stories forever. <sighs> You're quite right. Quite right. But let me tell you something first. You must know, these stories, they're about scary kinds of people. People who are evil who will trick and deceive you. These are why... why we stay safe on our farm, you see? Oh... but... but... that time I broke your music machine... I lied about it, remember? I tried to trick you, so... was that evil? Oh, no! No, no, no! Of course not! We are good people, Anna. We just... make mistakes. Well... Some people we think are bad might just be making mistakes, then? <sighs> Anna, sweet thing. That's enough of that kind of talk. So long as we never leave our farm, we don't need to worry, all right? All right. If you say so, Grandpa. Come on now. Hop into bed, and I'll get the book for you. Right then, 
Who rides so late where winds blow wild? It is the father clutching his child. He holds the girl tight in his arms. He clasps her safely. He keeps her warm. My girl, why cover your face in fear? Oh, don't you see the devil near? The devil with his eyes that fright. My girl, tis only a mist of white. Sweet lass, oh come and join me do. Such clever games I'll play with you. Uh, Anna? Psst, Anna. Anna, please wake up. This isn't happening! It's not happening! Um... Hello there. How are you? Yes. Hi, Anna. I'm fine, but... Hmm... Okay. Uh... My name is Anna. Pleased to meet you. Um... Anna? Just wait, Ben. I'm trying to talk to the ghost. Oh, <laughs> silly me. You were talking to... Wait, what? To the ghost? I'm trying to. I'm not sure, but I think... You can't talk, can you? Hmm, I see. Okay, well... I... I'm sorry to summon you like this, miss. It's just, I was kidnapped, you see, by the witch. I think you probably know her. Yes, um, the thing is, I need your help with something. A spell. Wait! Don't go! Rats. I hope she hasn't gone too far away. I'll just leave it as it is. too happy about seeing another bird on his roof. At least he's distracted now. All right, here's my chance. Easy does it, Anna. Just reach up, pluck one out. Ah, I'm sorry. I think I better get out of here. I don't think he was very impressed by that, but hey, I got a raven's feather for the spell now. Ah! Ah, oh, there you are. Dear. You must be the girl he was talking about. Yorinda. I... I don't know how to tell you. Well, I think... Yoringel came here for you. He wanted to find you. He called you his, uh... His lost nightingale. Or something or other. Right before he, uh ran off. Um, I... I don't mean to bother you, miss, but... Well, I really need your help with something. And there she goes again. Poor girl. What did the witch put her through? Jeez, you just keep popping up everywhere, don't you? Wait, did you... You came here to help me? Thank you, Yorinda. It means a lot to me. Yorinda! Yorinda... Is, is that you? Yorinda! My precious Nightingale, it is you! At last, I found you! 
Oh, thank the kingdom. I found you, Yurinde. Now that we're together once again, no one can bother us. Oh, my! Yurinde! Your... Yurinde? What did I do? Um... Hello again? I'm sorry, Yuringo. I didn't mean to make her upset with you. Oh, uh, the girl. Uh, I'm sorry, Yurinde. I wanted to help her. Uh, really, I did. I just... I was just so excited to see you after all these years. Please, forgive me, my love. Let's do this, together. Aww, true love is so sweet. Thank you, Yorinda, and Yoringo. I'll finish this spell, just you see. Then I'll make my escape, for all of us. Ugh. I'm not sticking my arm in there. Who knows what the witch has put in it? Okay, so the protection spell. A raven's feather. A strand of hair from the one you need protection from. A blessing from the dead over the cauldron they are in. Then I need to heat them to a boil together. And then I need to dip in an amulet charged by the moon. Simple, right? Your time to shine, little guy. Excellent work, little guy. Oh, it's really shiny now. I think it worked. Well, for my sake, I hope it did. Guess I might have to find out soon enough. The amulet has been formed. My words have been heeded. You've done well, dear Anna. And you've indeed succeeded. Are you... going to be okay down here? I wish I didn't have to leave you. Please worry not for me, for this is my home. I'm worried for you out there, all alone. I'll be alright. I have to be. I have to. For Grandpa. Then waste not. Go forth and continue your quest. I wish you good luck and all of the best. Thank you again, Mirror. I won't forget you. Alright. Time to tell Ben and get out of this place. That's everything, Ben. I have it all prepared now. Ben? What's wrong? <coughs> ben? Wait, what happened to the hole? And the handkerchiefs? <gasps> no! It... it can't be. Evening, Anna. But... How did you... Quite the fun-filled evening you've had yourself here, hmm? I think it's about time we put an end to all this nonsense, though. Don't you? No. I've come so close. I'm not quitting now. I have to escape. Escape? Ha! <laughs> Foolish child. Do you have any idea how long I've planned for this? Did you really think you would escape me? Hmm? Yeah, well, this is just another part of my plan. What are you talking about? I figured you would try and stop me, so I've made a little of my own magic. What? 
What does that mean? <laughs> it doesn't matter now anyway. It's time to put an end to this. Ah! Then? Uh, nope, not then. You wretched little runt. You deceive me? You leave him alone. Haven't you done enough already? Oh, I've had enough of this. Of both of you. <gasps> I'm going to enjoy this. Hold still, children. This will only take a moment. Oh, spirits of the dead. Oh, ghouls of misfortune. Emma, I'm scared. It's okay, Ben. You don't have to worry. Rise from thy slumber. Disable those impugn. I'm here, Ben. I'll protect us. anything from here. She's too far away. And with that ghost between us, I can't get any closer. That'd be unnecessarily messy. Mm, no, I can't. I can't seem to focus properly. It's like there's some kind of protection around her. A protection spell? It can't be! How could you? Are we still alive, Anna? I don't want to look. I don't know how you did that, child, but it won't last forever. I'll break it down eventually. Alright, it's worth a shot. I can't. I can't seem to focus properly. I guess I can't use it directly on ghosts. Yes, if I get the wand, I take away her power. I can't get near her with that ghost there, though. The spell will come down sooner or later, don't you worry. I'll break it down, eventually. That's it! I just have to wait for the right moment to try. And so, with the witch's plan thwarted, the girl and the bear finally made their escape. Running deep into the woods, her goal now in sight, Anna knew just the place they would need to seek next. The town of Wunderhorn, as the mirror described, lay in wait for the pair to make their arrival. But the journey would be long. The quest had just begun, and their run-in with evil would not be their last. <laughs>